CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6. Chapter 2 Whole Numbers Part 3 Page 39 Identity for addition and multiplication. How is the collection of whole numbers different from the collection of natural numbers? It is just the presence of zero in the collection of whole numbers. This number zero has a special role in addition. The table here will help you guess the role. When you add zero to any whole number, what is the result? Next to this we have a table. It has five columns. Column 1 has a number. Column 2 has addition sign. Column 3 has another number. Column 4 has equal to sign and column 5 has the result. Let's read the table. 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. 0 plus 15 is equal to 15. 0 plus 26 is equal to 26. 0 plus dash is equal to dash. You have to write the number in the blank spaces provided. Page 40. It is the same whole number again. 0 is called an identity for addition of whole numbers or additive identity for whole numbers. 0 has a special role in multiplication too. Any number when multiplied by 0 becomes 0. For example, observe the pattern. 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30. 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to dash. 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to dash. 5 multiplied by 0 is equal to Observe how the products decrease. Do you see a pattern? Can you guess the last step? Is this pattern true for other whole numbers also? Try doing this with two different whole numbers. You came across an additive identity for whole numbers. A number remains unchanged when added to zero. Similar is the case for a multiplicative identity for whole numbers. Observe this table. We have a table again with five rows, the same order of numbers and signs. Let's read the table. 7 multiplied by 1 is equal to 7. 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5. 1 multiplied by 12 is equal to 12. 1 multiplied by 100 is equal to 100. 1 multiplied by dash is equal to dash. You are right. 1 is the identity for multiplication of whole numbers or multiplicative identity for whole numbers. Now write down the correct figure in the blank space provided. Exercise 2.2 1. Find the sum by suitable rearrangement. A. 837 plus 208 plus 363 B. 1,962 plus 453 plus 1,538 plus 647. 2. Find the product by suitable rearrangement. A. 2 multiplied by 1,768 multiplied by 50. B. 4 multiplied by 166 multiplied by 25. C. 8 multiplied by 291 multiplied by 125. D. 625 multiplied by 279 multiplied by 16. E. 285 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 60. F. 125 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 25. 3. Find the values of the following. A. 
297 multiplied by 17 plus 297 multiplied by 3. B. 54,279 multiplied by 92 plus 8 multiplied by 54,279. C. 81,265 multiplied by 169 minus 81,265 multiplied by 69. D. 3,845 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 782 plus 769 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 218. 4. Find the product using suitable properties. A. 738 multiplied by 103. B. 854 multiplied by 102. C. 258 multiplied by 1008. D. 1005 multiplied by 168. 5. A taxi driver filled his car petrol tank with 40 litres of petrol on Monday. The next day he filled the tank with 50 litres of petrol. If the petrol costs 44 rupees per litre, how much did he spend in all on petrol? Page 41. 6. A vendor supplies 32 litres of milk to a hotel in the morning and 68 litres of milk in the evening. If the milk costs 45 rupees per litre, how much money is due to the vendor per day? 7. Match the following. 1. 425 multiplied by 136 is equal to 425 multiplied by, in brackets, 6 plus 30 plus 100. 2. 2 multiplied by 49 multiplied by 50 is equal to 2 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 49. 3. 80 plus 2005 plus 20 is equal to 80 plus 20 plus 2005. The choices for matching are A. Commutativity under multiplication B. Commutativity under addition C. Distributivity of multiplication over addition 2.5 Patterns in whole numbers We shall try to arrange numbers in elementary shapes made up of dots. The shapes we take are 1. A line 2. A rectangle 3 a square, and four, a triangle. Every number should be arranged in one of these shapes. No other shape is allowed. Every number can be arranged as a line. The number two is shown as two dots. The number three is shown as three dots, and so on. Some numbers can be shown also as rectangles. For example, the number 6 can be shown as a rectangle. Note, there are two rows and three columns. Some numbers like 4 or 9 can also be arranged as squares. We have the picture arrangement of number 4 and number 9 in square. Number 4 has two rows of two dots and number 9 has three rows of three dots. Some numbers can also be arranged as triangles. For example, 3 can be represented as a triangle with 3 dots or 6, which again can be represented as a triangle, a bigger one. Note that the triangle should have its two sides equal. The number of dots in the rows starting from the bottom row should be like 4, 3, 2, 1. The top row should always have one dot. Page 42. Now, complete the table. Here we have a table with five columns. Column 1 heading is number. Column 2 heading is line. Column 3 says rectangle. Column 4 says square. And column 5 says triangle. We need to write yes or no against the number for which they can be represented in the form of a line, rectangle, square or triangle. Few examples have already been done for you. And remember, 
1 is a special number. Now let's go with the table. Number 2. Line, yes. Rectangle, no. Square, no. Triangle, no. Number 3. Line, yes. Rectangle, no. Square, no. Triangle, yes. Number 4. Line, yes. Rectangle, yes. Square, yes. Triangle, no. Number 5. Line, yes. Rectangle, no. Square, no. Triangle, no. Now, numbers 6 to number 13 have blank spaces in front of them. You have to think and write yes or no depending if the numbers can be represented in the shapes of line, rectangle, square or triangle. Try these. 1. Which numbers can be shown only as a line? 2. Which can be shown as squares? 3. Which can be shown as rectangles? 4. Write down the first seven numbers that can be arranged as triangles. For example, 3, 6 and so on. 5. Some numbers can be shown by two rectangles. For example, 12, which can be represented as four columns of three rows or six columns of two rows. Give at least five other such examples. Patterns Observation Observation of patterns can guide you in simplifying processes. Study these. A. 117 plus 9 is equal to 117 plus 10 minus 1, which is equal to 127 minus 1, which is equal to 126. B. 117 minus 9 is equal to 117 minus 10 plus 1, which is equal to 107 plus 1, which is equal to 108. Page 43. C. 117 plus 99 is equal to 117 plus 100 minus 1, which is equal to 217 minus 1, which is equal to 216. D. 117 minus 99 is equal to 117 minus 100 plus 1, which is equal to 17 plus 1, which is equal to 18. Does this pattern help you to add or subtract numbers of the form 9, 99, 999, etc.? Here is one more pattern. A. 84 multiplied by 9 is equal to 84 multiplied by, in brackets, 10 minus 1. B. 84 multiplied by 99 is equal to 84 multiplied by, in brackets, 100 minus 1. C. 84 multiplied by 999 is equal to 84 multiplied by, in brackets, 1000 minus 1. Do you find a shortcut to multiply a number by numbers of the form 9, 99, 999, etc.? Such shortcuts enable you to do sums verbally. The pattern here suggests a way of multiplying a number by 5 or 25 or 125. You can think of extending it further. 1. 96 multiplied by 5 is equal to 96 multiplied by 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 960 divided by 2, which is equal to 480. 2. 96 multiplied by 25 is equal to 96 multiplied by 100 divided by 4, which is equal to 9600 divided by 4, which is equal to 2400. 3. 96 multiplied by 125 is equal to 96 multiplied by 1000 divided by 8, which is equal to 96,000 divided by 8, which is equal to 12,000. 
What does the pattern that comes now suggest? 1. 64 multiplied by 5 is equal to 64 multiplied by 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 32 multiplied by 10, which is equal to 320 multiplied by 1. 2. 64 multiplied by 15 is equal to 64 multiplied by 30 divided by 2, which is equal to 32 multiplied by 30, which is equal to 320 multiplied by 3. 3. 64 multiplied by 25 is equal to 64 multiplied by 50 divided by 2, which is equal to 32 multiplied by 50, which is equal to 320 multiplied by 5. 4. 64 multiplied by 35 is equal to 64 multiplied by 70 divided by 2, which is equal to 32 multiplied by 70, which is equal to 320 multiplied by 7. Exercise 2.3 1. Which of the following will not represent 0? A. 1 plus 0 B. 0 multiplied by 0 C. 0 divided by 2 or D. 10 minus 10 divided by 2 2. If the product of two whole numbers is 0, can we say that one or both of them will be 0? Justify through examples. Page 44 3. If the product of two whole numbers is 1, can we say that one or both of them will be 1? Justify through examples. 4. Find using distributive property. A. 728 multiplied by 101. B. 5437 multiplied by 1001. C. 824 multiplied by 25. D. 4275 multiplied by 125. E. 504 multiplied by 35. 5. Study the pattern. 1 multiplied by 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. 1, 2 multiplied by 8 plus 2 is equal to 9, 8. 1, 2, 3 multiplied by 8 plus 3 is equal to 9, 8, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4 multiplied by 8 plus 4 is equal to 9, 8, 7, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 multiplied by 8 plus 5 is equal to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Write the next two steps. Can you say how the pattern works? Hint. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. What have we discussed? 1. The numbers 1, 2, 3, which we use for counting, are known as natural numbers. 2. If you add 1 to a natural number, we get its successor. If you subtract 1 from a natural number, you get its predecessor. 3. Every natural number has a successor. Every natural number except 1 has a predecessor. 4. If we add the number 0 to the collection of natural numbers, we get the collection of whole numbers. Thus, the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, form the collection of whole numbers. 5. Every whole number has a successor. Every whole number except 0 has a predecessor. 6. All natural numbers are whole numbers, but all whole numbers are not natural numbers. 7. We take a line, mark a point on it, and label it 0. We then mark out points to the right of 0 at equal intervals. Label them as 1, 2, 3 and so on. Thus, we have a number line with the whole numbers represented on it. We can easily perform the number operations of addition, subtraction and multiplication on the number line. 8. Addition corresponds to moving to the right on the number line whereas subtraction corresponds to moving to the left. 
multiplication corresponds to making jumps of equal distance starting from zero. 9. Adding two whole numbers always gives a whole number. Similarly, multiplying two whole numbers always gives a whole number. We say that whole numbers are closed under addition and also under multiplication. However, whole numbers are not closed under subtraction and under division. 10. Division by zero is not defined. Page 45. 11. Zero is the identity for addition of whole numbers. The whole number 1 is the identity for multiplication of whole numbers. 12. You can add two whole numbers in any order. You can multiply two whole numbers in any order. We say that addition and multiplication are commutative for whole numbers. 13. Addition and multiplication both are associative for whole numbers. 14. Multiplication is distributive over addition for whole numbers. 15. Commutativity, associativity and distributivity properties of whole numbers are useful in simplifying calculations and we use them without being aware of them. 16. Patterns with numbers are not only interesting but are useful especially for verbal calculations and help us to understand properties of numbers better. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by C I E T N C E R T. New Delhi. India